Good afternoon, for it is the afternoon, and welcome to Disgracelands. This is Rob Lensvids. My name is Rob Wheatley. Hope you're having an awesome time, whatever time it is. Um, it's a couple of mates' birthdays today, so Danny, how you doing, mate? Happy birthday to you. Um, it's just a quick video saying goodbye to the back. This is my oh, sorry, rattling. This is my old vintage. God, hang on. Let me do this first of all. My old vintage. You see that metal axe. Axe Razor, otherwise known as the Bat Stealth guitar, because it's in this matte stealthy black and it's all, it looks like Batman. Um, and this guitar is finding a new home today, so, or in the next couple of days, um, because basically uh, I got that PRSSE standard, which does everything this does and more, and, <coughs> excuse me, COVID, COVID, and, you know, it's, it's a guitar that's worth like four times as much, and it's <coughs> bloody COVID, where did that come from? Oh, God. And Dave, wear a far face mask. Um, yeah, so um, I don't, I no longer have room for this. Basically, uh, I've been going through and upgrading my guitars very, very slowly or quite quickly over the last year or so, and um, I'm sort of doing a one in, one out policy at the moment. And this one, um, it, you know, this is the one that's going out the door next. So I'm basically giving this to uh, our head chef at work because um, he's been after a guitar for a while and I've been trying to find one for him and then um, so I, I literally you know, I, I bought that Ibanez the other day that Ibanez jazz box and really that is the place completely full up to the brim now I have no more space for anything so something has to go and uh, I'm a big fan of just passing things on um, you know I've, I've been get, very kindly been given guitars and amps and things like that in the past and I um, rather than trying to sell stuff on eBay and, and all that rubbish, I'd rather just pass things on. So this is going to Pete. Um, it's not a bad guitar. It's it's a heavy metal guitar, whatever that means. The only thing I've ever found really is the pickups don't have a lot of character. But I guess if you're just ch ch chucking tons of distortion and stuff through it, which you would if you're a metalist, metalist, um, then that doesn't really matter. But they're all right. They do the job. Um, the tuners are quite small on it as well, but it's it's not a bad guitar. It's um. Uh, I think designed by Trevor Wilkinson and all that sort of stuff. You've got freeway switch, uh, humbuckers, and you pull the tone control out, and you've got a coil split thing on it. Um, I've used it in the past when I haven't needed a guitar with tons of character. So some of the more strange recordings and things I've done where I've just used the guitar basically as a sound, just as a sound generator, and then process the living living pup out of the sound, you know, putting it through filters and gates and all this sort of stuff. And, and, and when I use... Um, you know, when I'm trying to make guitars sound like anything but guitars, this was often the one I use. It's, um, it's got two octave fretboard, 24 fret, um, and it's very playable and it sits really nice. It doesn't stand up at all because it's like asymmetric and the jack is in the bottom, which is a really stupid place to put it, but um, you can't have everything. But it's done me really well. I think I paid, I, I, I didn't pay any cash for this. This was in a second hand shop around the corner. Someone I knew at the time bought it um, and he didn't get on. He, I don't know, and um, I swapped it for a violin and a, a leather bike jacket and uh, some CDs a few years ago, and I've had it ever since. It's been used on Happy Orange Balloon uh, uh, albums, uh, the, the stuff I do with my mate Dan in Sicily. Um, uh, I think Calling Your Name, I think, was uh, probably my favourite track that we used this on. It's been used definitely on the Blazing Chaos album, Beach in Spain, the opening track on the Blazing Chaos album, All We Do Is Smile, the absolutely filthy, drunken sounding guitar wailing thing is all this thing, um, and among other things. And yeah, I'm not sad to see it go because as I say, I've got I've got the PRSSE you know, standard thing, and it's also in matte black, shiny matte black, which was just the way it turned out. But um, yeah, all good stuff. We'll just uh, quickly just, you know, show that it actually works. <laughs> Up front bottom, middle pick up, middle bottom, back pick up, back, you know. And then you've got the coil splitty thing, pull the tone control out. can also be used to play um, music as opposed to just a random bunch of notes. <laughs> yeah, coil split on that, coil split on the middle, middle pickup. And a 
and uh, is that the real one? Not a demo, it's just saying goodbye to it and just so I've got a record of it on video. Um, these aren't bad guitars, they, they turn up for um, not a great deal of money, second hand on eBay. Vintage is the company, it's a metal axe, razor, I think axe has got two X's and an E because it's metal. I think razor is spelt with a Z and an E, probably because it's metal and all that business. But it's a funky looking bit of kit, it's done me really well over the years. Um, mm. Let's just do that again and that and um, yeah, vintage metal axe razor, really really solid. Set neck, all that stuff, everything's buzzing, um, I need to go. The other reason I'm going to give this away today is because obviously the head chef works at the pub. And uh, it just means that, damn it, I've got to go to the pub to, to give them this. Damn it. Damn it. Me and my life, eh? That means I've got to go to the pub. Cheers. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, good people.